I really can't be screwing around this time. <laughs> oh man. So here we're fighting Captain Malik, the guy who actually trained us to be fighting and all that stuff. So yeah, the very same guy that's training us, we're fighting against him now. Of course he's accompanied by soldiers, royal ones, and they have group residents going on right now. It's probably best idea in your best interest to get those guys out of the way as soon as possible, so that way you don't have so you could just deal with Captain Malik however the fuck you feel like. But Captain Malik himself is definitely a formidable fighter. He is a master of a long distance fight. He's, like he mainly uses Blade of Rank for physical attacks and mix in with other other stuff. Ah, God damn it! <laughs> kind of saw that one coming, and everyone's just clumped all together in the same spot. You know what? The scalp. Bring me back. I don't even care if you die. But anyway, yeah, he's a master of long distance fighting. He'll mainly use uh, magic attacks to attack your entire party. Or physical attacks with his blade ring, like in order to like focus on one person himself. And he is a very capable fighter. I just I gotta mention that right now. Oh my god. All I'm glad is that he doesn't get reinforcements or some shit like that, because that would have just been bullshit. Oh wait, is we to A Arts? Hell yeah, A Arts! Oh wait, yeah, we to A Arts my ass, and I'm just stunned! Stun! Stun! <laughs> so yeah, watch out when he has Elder Burst, because he will definitely slap your shit around by casting a whole bunch of magic arts at once. Actually, wait, what other A arts do I have on me right now? Nothing! Yet! Ah. There we go. Oh god. A moment of silence, I suppose. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that definitely went better than with Hubert. Mainly because it was four against three. So it's all well and good. You've grown strong, Asbel. Captain. Your Highness! Duke Dalin reports that we have successfully taken the fortress! There is little point in further resistance. You know when you are beaten. This, at least, is an honorable trait. Richard, wait! Captain Malik was only doing what he thought was right! He could be a vital part of your kingdom when the war is over. I will decide who belongs in my kingdom! Uh, what's happening? What's wrong? No, this isn't me! Richard! I'm fine. Forgive me. I felt unwell for a moment. I'll decide the fate of these men later. For now, lock them in the fortress so they do not escape. Yes, sir. Richard? I must speak with Duke Dallin. It seems I may live to see another day after all. Asbel, though you did not complete your training, you have become a fine knight. Serve this country and Prince Richard well. Thank you, Captain. None of this would have been possible without your instruction. So, what happens to him? We fought on different sides, but he's still a citizen of Windor. I don't think they'll be too hard on him. I hope not. Anyway, what now? Do we go find Richard again, or what? Yeah, he said he was going to speak to Duke Dallin. Sharia. What? What? Sharia is down there. She is? Let's go take a look. Well, she came out of nowhere, honestly. Jeez, you would have thought she would have been stuck at long. Considering the last time we left, the freaking walls were just like closed off. We couldn't even go in back in there even if we wanted to. And considering the way Strahd is handling Launt right now, I would have thought, eh, none of you can leave. Screw you. Yeah, stay in here. Those are my thoughts anyway. Huh? 
Miss Bell, what are you doing here? Oh, Sophie, I'm glad you're safe. I was so worried when the two of you left Lant. And you are? I'm Pascal. Totally nice to meet you, Sharia. Um, yes. Nice to meet you as well. So what are you doing here? I joined a relief organization made up of volunteers from Lant. I wanted to help those who were hurt in the battle. A relief organization, huh? You came to a battlefield to help people? That's so totally noble and brave and stuff. Come on, let's take you to Richard. I'm sure he'll be willing to support your cause. He was gonna go see the Duke, right? So where's that? Sophie, I don't want to be rude, but your hair is filthy, and you're covered in dirt. Have you been bathing regularly? No. What? You're supposed to take care of her. I don't know, you're kind of distracting me with the... Wait, what are you talking about? What? I am taking care of her, but I mean, come on. There's only so much I can do, you know? Mm. I suppose. Look, I'll clean you all up soon, all right? Okay. Eh, it's not like skipping a few baths will kill you. Yes, it will. Dirty people are unhealthy people. Everyone knows that. I'm going to scrub you both down later. You okay? You okay? <laughs> stop that. Don't mimic her. Then stop bending over like that and now stop getting distracted. Wait, what? She's like their mother. Oh, great. Even though Sherry can fight, she's not even going to fight. Eh, whatever. Eh, it's not like we have to fight right now, anyway. Look for Richard. I want to say he's more north or something. Actually, wait, he would have to be south. Duke Dallin does live south of the freaking wall bridge, after all. Hey, look at that. I'm actually thinking straight for once. Somewhat. Kind of. Where the hell is he? Oh, wait. All right, never mind. Apparently, thinking straight doesn't make jack shit to this game. <laughs> Eh, I don't know. I would have thought he wouldn't be around with these sort of people. Actually, hmm. He might actually... Wait a minute, wait a minute. I think there are certain people I can talk right here. Pressure to complete. Onward to Barona. Richard has made it for top, has made for the top floor. His Majesty went to the center of the fort with Duke Down. Hurt my leg in the evasion, so they're having me stand guard from here. Alrighty then. If I remember things correctly, if you talk to a certain group of people right here, something happens. So our next objective is Barona Castle. Cough, cough. Alright. <laughs> I think there should be like a skit or something. It's disinfected stings! <laughs> Alright. Bindle attack long, there was nothing I could do. Moments before our ship change. Couldn't they have waited just a little longer? <laughs> Oh my god. Honestly, I would have thought the same thing. Like, god damn it, it had to happen on my shift. On my shift of all times, man. Oh man. So, I think I had to make my way for the. somewhere around this general direction. Yep, here it is. So, this is the center tower right here. You know, where freaking Richard got his ass handed to him the price of violence come on asbel don't doubt yourself you need to stand by richard man can you believe it richard totally freaked out on that guy richard's only human when someone gets stabbed they're going to get angry jeez don't get all angry at me now <laughs> like i need this now i don't know man Maybe you do have it coming. But anyway, I'm assuming we have to go up here. Oh, hello there, Richard. More soldiers are rallying to our cause after news of your highness's victory. I doubt even Archduke Cedric can match our strength now. The false king shall soon topple and fall. My dear uncle must be trembling in his boots. 
That's Richard? Asbel, you're here. Good. We've come a long way. When Barona falls, the war will be over. Then this country will know what it means to face true justice. Hmm? Who are you? Sheria Barnes. It's been a long time, Your Highness. Sheria, did you hear my appeal and come to join the fight? Uh, no, I... Fear not. Once I reclaim my throne, I will save the good people of Lot. Sheria came to help the wounded. Ah, excellent. I have many injured men, and your skills will be most welcome. Thank you. Healing our allies must be your top priority. As such, you may ignore the prisoners. What? Those who lend aid to my uncle are no better than beasts. Even their wounded deserve no mercy. Jesus! They're still citizens of Windor. Those who stand against me have no place in my kingdom. Uh, but, Richard... Everyone must know the consequences of disloyalty. This is why I plan to have the traitors executed. They nearly killed me. Their crimes are unforgivable. Death is the only thing those scum deserve. Okay, calm down, Emil. Richard, no! You have to reconsider! Do you really think so, Asbel? They weren't fighting you because they wanted to. Only a coward would kill his own citizens out of fear. You dare lecture me on the rules of proper kingship? No, I'm just trying to help. Silence! I will hear no more of this. All right, Jesus, calm down, Emil. Seriously. Do not forget your place simply because I have shown you kindness. Uh, your Highness. Uh, Take His Highness inside and fetch a doctor immediately. As Belmont, you are suspended from duty. We shall consider your recent behavior and decide an appropriate punishment. What's gotten into Richard? Are you and Richard fighting? But you're friends. Friends? Yeah, we're friends. But I just don't know what he's thinking anymore. I'm worried about him, too. I know. He never used to get angry like that. Even though we barely knew him for, like, ten minutes? His Highness has recovered. Also, we have decided to postpone a decision on the fate of the prisoners. For now, they will remain under guard here in Wallbridge. Thank you. You, however, are ordered to distance yourself from the Prince. Yes, sir. You are free to continue fighting for us, but will no longer be afforded any special treatment. Understood, sir. Well, this day has been a little nuts. Oh, hey, Sharia. Are y'all done zapping the wounded? So what you gonna do now, Asbel? From how the Duke spoke, I don't know how much longer I'll be welcome here. Will you go back to Lant? I have no place in Lant. You know that. But maybe if you talked it over... Why bother? I was never fit to rule anyway. That's not true. So how are things in Lant right now? Well, Hubert is... He's doing a lot for the people. He was actually the one who suggested I start the relief organization. I see. All right. For now, I'll stay here and fight for Richard. Even if he's angry with me, I can still help. Plus, who knows? Maybe he'll change his mind or something. Um, do you mind if I come with you? If he invades the capital, there will be a lot of people who need our assistance. And I... I don't want to leave Sophie again. You know, I could take care of you, too, if you just liked me. All right. If that's what you want, Sharia. Thank you.
You're damn right you're part of the party now. God damn it, man. Where we got no Heads of the North Gate. Actually, I think... Oh, right, right, right. I forgot about this sort of thing. I'm trying to actually figure out where to go from here. Oh, wait. I'm going all the way up to the freaking top. Jesus, this place is just way too built like a maze and such. Or not so much a maze as it is just like a whole bunch of rooms and such. Oh god, I'm so itchy. I probably should be stopping to record soon. Or stop recording soon enough. That's what I meant. So actually, huh. I think if we can make our way from here, it'll just lead us straight to an exit. Eventually. We just... I think it's just one more floor from here. Oh, there's a door. Hell yeah. I think I am going to be cutting it soon, but first let's just see if there's any more scenes that I can just throw in here. I think I'm at this much, as much north as possible, so alright. Holy crap, what's going on here? On the orders of Duke Dallin, your team will be allowed to join us in battle. However, you will not belong to the regular army. Instead, you will function as an independent commando unit. I understand. Please tell the Duke and His Highness that we will do our best. An independent commando unit? Sounds like it just means we can do whatever we want! Ah! Yeah! Sharia, Hubert, everyone has a place and a purpose. But what about me? Well... Pouting about it won't change anything. For now, I'll just do what I can to help Richard. Time to go fuck shit up! I think I'll do that for the next part, though. Actually, wait a minute. All we can do to save the wounded? Nah, yeah, screw that. South Verona High Road. Where did I go for the old Grail Sight High Road, then? Hang on, I'll just have to look at the freaking map. Field locations... Oh, not much I could see from there, though. Alright, I'll have to do that request some other time then. When I was thinking about back from freaking Grailside and hard to justify. You were right by Richard's side, Asbel. Couldn't you have stopped him? Come on, Sharia. Don't you feel bad for Richard? He was almost murdered by his own uncle. I'm trying to understand, but it's difficult. Is more fighting really the only solution? I can understand that you feel sorry for all the wounded, Sharia. But, I don't think you're being very fair about this. Wait, you don't have to... <sighs> oh, Asbel, can you not see that Richard was in the wrong here? I don't know, I kind of see it. How about you just keep on bending over, Sherry? I don't even know. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm going to be cutting it here for this recording session. So, if you guys like this part... Give it a like, subscribe if you want to watch future videos, and feel free to watch any of my previous videos, if you really feel like it. Next time on Let's Play Tales of Graces F, we're making our way to Barona Castle apparently, so see you guys then.